All right. Um, that leads back up there. I guess this is the blue palace that we heard about. Bryling. Bry Didn't we have something for Bryling as well? We need to speak to Greta. We need to speak with Bryling. Okay. Um. Can I always use some blue mountain flowers. This should be the right house. Out phone. Okay. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Let's save. Yes? Are you here to talk about my brother? Do you think his execution was justified? Who was your brother? Rogvir. He opened a gate and they executed him for it. He opened a gate and the wrong man rode out of it. If that man hadn't been Ulfric Stormcloak. If Ulfric hadn't killed High King Torig, But it was Ulfric. And he did kill the High King in honorable combat. My brother refused to allow the Imperials to take revenge for the deed. So now he's dead. So he did what he thought was right. And like Rogvir, you have a Nord's heart. It's hard for many of the people here to understand. I think Aldous understands. I don't think I could have stayed here if anyone else had... I had... I think I need to be done talking for the moment. Okay. No books upstairs. Does everyone have a copy of Uncommon Taste? I'm not looking for conversation. Swari asked me to talk to you. She did, did she? She's gonna get a sit down later. She wants you to return to the temple. Well, I wish it were that simple. Maybe it is. Look, I want to go back, but I won't feel right in there without a tie to Talos. My brother Rogvir wore a symbol of Talos. He kept it hidden on his person. If I had that, I can't go near his body. Would you get it back for me? <sighs> Thanks. Sure. I should make sure Svari's okay. Well, let's make sure... Let's see if his body is still there. This is a nice view, though. I mean, look at this city. It's pretty neat. Scars agreed to forgive your debt. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You can speak to my daughter, Avet. She's the brains of the battle. <laughs> I'm guessing he was going to give me an increase in something that I've already leveled up to 100. Uh, where's his body? I have no business with you. Leave me. Okay. 
Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Why is this place called the Winking Skeever? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink at me. You kept a Skeever as a pet? They were smaller back then. <laughs> Heard any rumors lately? Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Remember the winking skeever next time you're foot sore. Divines bless you. <laughs> May the ground you walk quake if you need a good rumor or two. I think I can oblige. You wanted something enchanted for the college. Yes, yes. Let's keep our voices down, all right? Just make sure this gets there. Need anything, you just say the word. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. You're a long way from home, then. Aye, but I'll be here in solitude for longer still. Viata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that is nearly white with... What do you call it? Oh, yeah. Snow. And far to the west lies a ruin, Volskai. Inside, there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. I've been traveling all over, even been to Helgen. Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies, but no real news. The rumors are all true. That we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Uh, it depends if you can make them land. Talk to a fellow traveler. Lady, what are you doing performing in a tavern? Glad you decided to check us out. If you are I was done talking anyway. That you are youth to the days come and gone for the age of aggression is just about done. If you are that big a deal, and restore what we own with our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Malfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, set. One of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Down with Malfric, the killer of kings. You are, who are you, lady? There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. Does being a bot pay well? Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. What's the word around town? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you. By blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All you need to do is say my speech. Okay. Well, no need. Um. God, what do we have to do? Oh yeah, we need to tell Angeline. Poor woman. I'm a little busy at the moment. Oh, we gotta tell her that his daughter I'm sure got ambushed. Know. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. 
that this was a war of Jarls and Imperial generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. I'm sorry. But at least now you have closure. Um, do I have anything else to do here? Oh, I need to go to the catacombs to retrieve the amulet. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. Makes sense. The divine saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Hey, want to play tag? Five, four, three, two, one, go! You're it! <laughs> Pardon me. Okay. Catacombs down there. Let's go. Whoa, kids! Get out of here! Mother says you shouldn't talk. This place is not for you. There's, there's skeletons down here. Like. Get out of here, you little brats. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Alright. I'm it? Seriously? I feel like we are a bit over leveled for this. Just a hunch. Shrine of Okay, which is to be expected since we're in the Hall of the Dead. But hang on a second. Didn't find his body. Where is he? To the left. Oh wait, seriously, we have to steal from his coffin? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope nobody notices that. Greta, where are you? Over 
there. Hey, wanna play tag? No thanks, kid. I have more important things to worry about. Things? Not much I'm not looking ask. for conversation. Thanks so much. I'll return to Temple. Here's something for your time and effort. I should make sure Spari's okay. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we can finally talk to the Yarl. Probably gonna get a quest or two from her as well. And we also have a different quest over there, if I remember correctly. Uh, into the Bards College. The Blue Palace. Let's save before we go in there. And let's put on the Loves. Stay out of trouble, Red God. We look so ridiculous in this with our shield and our armor and then wearing this of all things. <laughs> this is Malaron again. Oh hello. Just tidying up. Maybe you need a partner, hmm? Just picture it. Two women, the dusty road, strapping men at every tavern, a fortune in gold to be claimed. What the hell? Who are you? Don't mess anything up while you're here. Who are you, ma'am? Everyone knows General Talius wields the real power in solitude. Elisif? Yeah, she's a figurehead, a puppet. Oh, that requires a key from her. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get this over with. Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hathengar's people will always be safe under Your my Eminence, rules. my strongly suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. Aren't you worried about Wolf Skull Cave? I've done my part. Dragon Bridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. Alright. Mm -hmm. Who is this other guy who's just walking off? Erico. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Um Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. If you have business, please see Folk Firebeard, my steward. Uh -huh. Do you need someone to check out Wolf Skull Cave? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Do you trust General Tullius? Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Nice. Are you the High Queen of Skyrim? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. 
This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Why did Ulfra kill your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. Or it grieves me to speak of it. What kind of shout did he use? Jesus Christ. Okay, well we can finally take off the stress again. Thank God. Well, pray for solid 